Come in. Let me hug you. Mm. You have a seven o'clock appointment, yes? Let me take your coat. You want something to drink or to use the restroom? Hmm. All right. Please, have a seat. I'll be with you in a second, and then we'll have a quick check-in. You already know from last time, yes? <laughs> You're already a pro. I always repeat this part so I can make sure whatever happens each time is exactly what you want. Some people are a bit nervous in the beginning, and when they relax, they might answer differently. Also, everybody is free to change from day to day and from week to week. <laughs> so, I invite you to answer however you feel. It can even be the opposite of what you answered last time. Is that alright with you? Okay. I wonder how much touch you want today. On a scale from 1 to 10, ranging from 1, sitting next to each other and talking, which is totally fine if that's how you feel today, to 10, which is like, why are we still talking? I want to touch it as much as soon as possible. Oh, okay. All right. That's very helpful to me. And you know, that number can always change throughout your session when you feel like it. Always tell me, okay? Do you have any injuries? Any place you're ticklish or something I should know about? Mm-hmm. I see. All right. Okay. You've almost made it. I wonder on the spectrum of holding someone and being held, where do you feel today? Do you want me to hold you more, or do you want to hold me? Or we could just mix it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a very important one. You can make requests at any time. If you're somehow uncomfortable, like a cushion is scratchy or your leg falls asleep, please tell me. And let me tell you. I'll do the same so you never have to be afraid I'm uncomfortable, because I will always tell you. Alright, last item. When it comes to cuddling, some people don't enjoy spontaneous touch. Some feel more comfortable when the hand position is fixed, or they want to be held without hands touching them at all. Mm-hmm. Yes, we also have a variety of plushy gloves. Cute bear ones, for example, and even a kitty pair. So, how do you feel today? Are you open for spontaneous touch? Hmm, very nice. All right, let's have another hug. Hmm. And go back. Are you up for couches? Or do you feel more like the pillow room? Hmm. How about we start with a classic? I'm sitting back, and you lean into me. It's all right. Give me your weight. Hmm. That feels good. I always like to start with a little bit of guided breathing. Okay? Breathe in deeply. And out. In. And out. You can rest your head. Hmm. Check in with your legs. Experiment. Find what works for you. In. And out. Try and feel your body, and see if there's still somewhere that's tense. Try to relax every muscle you have. Do you feel my breathing? Let's try to synchronize, okay? Easy and gentle, just like that. Slow.
slowly and deeply. And let yourself just drift off. Slowly and relax. Oh, hello. You slept better? Huh. I'm glad to hear that. That family thing was a horrible situation. How do I know? <laughs> it must have been a lucky guess. It's a reoccurring theme here. It's sometimes really hard to clean some of these dreams up. Whenever you feel like changing position, just say, Switch. Sure, you can touch my arms. Let me wrap you around you like this. There. You know, if you ever see an anteater in your dreams defending you, you know, he's fighting really hard. I mean, he's giving it his best, you know. <laughs> it's just a silly story for relaxation. Don't forget to breathe, okay? Deep and even breaths. To hold the line in your family dream, I felt the entire cast of House of Flying Daggers. Why would you dream something like that? Hmm? Position change? Oh, yes. Let me tell you a story. Some people believe in changeling, creatures connected to dreams. And this belief, you know, is how they survive. Yes, changelings survive by humans believing in them. The more someone believes, the more powerful they become. They live in the dreamscape, which is all connected, and they try to make sure it's a nice place. But that's a lot of work, you know. You wouldn't believe half, though. Hmm? What do they look like? Like anything, really. Some look like a character from a fairy tale, you know, even a dragon. But they can also look like furniture. Sometimes it depends on the dream, and the changeling can change too. Some look like animals or animal-like. Hmm, just my opinion, but the animal ones are the best. Why? Well, it's just how things are. <laughs> All right, next position. How about I lay down on my stomach and you can rest on my back? You can position yourself sideways and rest your head on my side. Or you can use me for a bed. <laughs> Don't forget to keep breathing nice and evenly. At any time during the session, I want you to say everything and anything that comes to your mind, like, oh, my legs just relaxed, or I have a tingling in my hand that I thought would go away, but doesn't. I know this is only your second time here. I have a lot to learn about you, and although I can do a lot, I'm not a telepath, so you have to tell me, okay? Hmm. <clears throat> and always remember to breathe. I feel more connected to you when we breathe together. Just a quick heads up. When our session is over, we will go outside, sit down, and I'll offer you another beverage. You can also use the restroom if you want. Oh, and we have something new. It's a keychain for regulars if you want it. It's a little anteater. <laughs>